George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a straight, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. a story of a lifelong friendship. <laughs> of a bond stronger than any other in nature. <laughs> it is the story of a boy and his, uh, dog? <laughs> George, we have to talk about Shep. He is out of control. He needs discipline. No, Ape should be more careful. Right, buddy? Good doggy. George, in case you haven't noticed, he's an elephant. <laughs> Shep, an elephant. It's no fun being around him anymore. <laughs> You hurt Shep's feelings. He doesn't tell Ape to stop being smart or Ursula to stop being Ursula. E? Well, maybe we were a little hard on him. And second thought. I thought I recognized your handiwork. Why, Dr. Towel Scott, it's been a long time. Everyone, Dr. Toots is a behavioral scientist known as the Elephant Whisperer. Did you hear that, George? Dr. Toots trains elephants. Oh, <laughs> George already trained Shep. <laughs> This elephant is unruly, disobedient, and in desperate need of a bubble bath. Obviously, this is a cry for help. I shall train him. Hip hip! Hooray! Today we embark upon my patented elephant obedience training course, using only my whistle and a cookie. <laughs> I will mold him into a well-mannered pet, culminating in a formal dinner with visiting dignitaries, where Shep will demonstrate his knowledge of fine food and... Yeah! Cookies! <laughs> <laughs> now, Shep, one toot means stop on a dime. This time, to be specific! Ooh! Shiny! George, give you 50 cents for it. George, please listen carefully, as you will be the one blowing the whistle when the training is complete. Look at me. <laughs> I've got a cookie. <laughs> oh, yes, I'll also be using a large pane of shatterproof glass to reinforce the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, others. 
Not long ago, a very special pack of arms set out to better himself and maybe even have a little fun. Right, Master Shep? <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to present George with his official Dr. Toots whistle. Ooh, neat! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Goal achieved! Well, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> That woman says a ton on plane fare. Too slow. Too fast. <sighs> George can get used to that. <laughs> mm, Shep is like a different animal. Wait till Ape sees this. The best part is how much Jeff loves it. Right, buddy? you look outside? Morning, Shep. George would whistle for you to fetch your whistle, but George doesn't have your whistle. Whistle! Whistle! <laughs> yes, sir. One bowl of trunk a munch coming up. Mmm, good. You can taste all three kinds of liver. <laughs> yes, sir. One jungle wedgie coming up. Okay, George, enough goofing around. Yes, sir. George, I think I know what's going on here. Shep has your whistle and is training you. <gasps> oh. to untrain them. No! This is day one of disobedience school. Using a cookie and no whistles of any kind, we shall return you both into the ill-mannered, rough-housing, wild things we know you are. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> So, 
It is with great pomp and circumstance that I, ape, bestow upon you, George and Shep, these diplomas, proclaiming each of you disobedient in the extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Thank the tiki gods that's over. Well, Chef Old Pal, can we just get back to being a boy and his big gray? <laughs> ah, good. We're back. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! Okie <laughs> 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 Defenseless, innocent baby alone in the jungle is an easy target for the most dangerous of predators. Unless that baby is Baby George of the Jungle. Yeesh. In my day, folks used to respect their predators. that out of all the pebbles in the jungle, he found you. <laughs> What's that? Pebble needs an app? <laughs> it looks like your tongue is glued to the top of your mouth. This is why you shouldn't mix peanut butter with spider webs. Okay, hold still. I'm just gonna give a gentle tug. One, two, three. <laughs> ah, sorry, Tookie. George. Thwack. Hey, guys. Neat tie, Tookie. Thwack. George, stop doing that. You mean this? Thwack. Yes, that. Woo, little sensitive, hey, Tookie? <laughs> I can't get a break. Looks like things are going to change around here for this mouse. We brought a few things you can maybe use as a substitute until you find your rock. Uh, we got you, golf ball. The end of an old banana, a smushed up piece of tin foil, and Ralph the Slug who volunteered. Take your pick. Oh, okay. I choose tin foil. <laughs> George misses the walk. Hey, it fits! George, someone's in danger! George can't help. George is useless without Pebble. It's a man-eating plan, not true-eating. Everything fine, George going home now. I don't think that plan cares about that right now. Quick, use that new golf ball belly button pal or friend or whatever! <laughs> George told you he couldn't do it without Pebble. Yes, it's rolling already. Pebble? 
George is nothing. Uh, a little help here, please. Can you describe Pebble? Hmm, round. Oh, uh, and gray. Yeah. Uh, oh, did George say round? Is this your missing stone? That's him! <laughs> What's with the tiptoeing, George? Well, George just being extra careful, you know. Don't want to get into any danger without Pebble. You were acting like a big nutty banana. <laughs> George still same George. Get off me! 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 Get off George! <gasps> I found a comfier navel, George. Goodbye. <laughs> Forever! Swat! 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 You're mine! <laughs> mine! 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 Ow! 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 George has to find Pebble! George, I really am sorry you lost your stone. So, I want to give you something very special to me. This is my lucky gutkerchief. I've had it since I was just a small ape and, uh... Thanks. George does feel a bit better. George, I changed my mind. I need it back right now. Uh, but it said... Right now! <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll help you find that stone. Pebble! Pebble! George brought your favorite treats! <gasps> Is this it, George? <laughs> Pebble, not that fat. Yeah! Run for your lives! <gasps> What's wrong? It's horrible. Horrible? Evil! Evil? Scary! George, we have to go investigate this. Uh, busy, picking leaves, you know, busy, busy, busy. George, the jungle needs you. Yeah. Okay, but ape, go first. <laughs> Who's laughing now, funny boy? Pebble! Give back Pebble. <laughs> His name is Rocky, and he's mine. Oh, Rocky? Oh, okay, that's not even clever. Hey, if you want a piece of fight cake, I'm your baker man. But I'm warning you, Rocky and I are a pretty tough team. No! George, are you gonna let that mouse just take Pebble? Well, kind of. <sighs> Poor Pebble, wedged into that tiny navel. No satisfying. Walk, 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 walk. George wants Pebble. Ooh, I'm scared. Yeah. Ow! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Too scared to come out here? Not me, because I have Racky. Uh oh! Help! George will save you! Help! Say Moose! Say Pebble! Say mouse! Say bubble! No!
George? <sighs> Is it valuable lesson time? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, yes. I think you see now that you don't need to rely on anything other than yourself for confidence. Yeah. I'm proud of you, George. Nighty night, nose blowing buddy. <laughs> George, give me back my gutter cheek.